What is up? I'm Wanda Turtle, and today we have a bit of a different video. We're going to do a bit of a, a collection showcase, so to speak, and we're going to be talking about something that probably like three months ago I didn't know anything about, and I'm happy to add to my collection. That is the Card Ass Pocket Monsters set. Card Ass with two Ds. I'm not really sure like what's up with that naming. Um, so, very interesting set of cards. This is the 151 set. So, there are two more cards which I'm still looking for. I think it's like one of them has red uh, with the starters and Pikachu, and then the other one has like red and blue, I think, with like the evolutions. So, not complete, but uh, we picked up the all 151 and getting ready to send this off to PSA. And the thing, reason I like this is so these were printed in, I believe, 1996, so a good three years before Base Set came out. And I like to think when you kind of look look through those cards, and we'll show you show them all, is that they kind of have. I wonder if you know originally they had a very different uh, depiction in mind for each of the Pokemon, and then they kind of made them a little soft around the edges, uh, closer to 1999. And Ivysaur, so they're all kind of like doing one of their signature attacks. And I think this is like kind of like a Leech Seed kind of thing. And then this one is probably like Razor Blade. And, but uh, when you look at the leaves, so I think like in the, the shell, I remember it's just like a leaf kind of spinning. And these actually kind of look like Shrikens to me. Um, and just like, or I think this one's actually a better example. So we have Venusaur, one of these, the, the first evolution. And like the Vine Whip, they have like thorns on them. And compared to kind of like the Venusaur, at least I know and love, uh, kind of just had the Vine. So I feel like, you know, they kind of, again, just made it a little softer around the edges after at some period of time between 96 9, or 99. Again, that's just my own speculation. But when I go through this art, that's what comes to mind. Uh, the Char Charizard Evolution in line, actually not too much different. Um, Kind of looks like a normal one. Maybe a little looks a little smaller than I kind of envisioned the other cards. We got the cute little turtle himself. War Turtle, all about that headbutt. And then Blastoise. Lovely. Alright, Caterpie using his string shot. And then Metapod. So here, the thing that jumps off jumps out to me is like the color where Metapod's typically just green. And this one's kind of like a like gray and I wonder if they kind of vision like oh Metapod he's in a cocoon so he just needs to make it as strong as possible and he always has that hardened attack and I wonder if this gray is supposed to like make it look like you know almost like metallic or like a rock to just to kind of like emulate or show that he's very tough uh, so you know slight change from the Metapod that we know Butterfree um, not sure what attack that is but uh, I don't know it looks a little sad <laughs> compared to normal Weedle Kakuna. Um, the biggest thing here, I don't. These almost look like kind of like arms. And then B drill, nothing too crazy there. Pidgey with some kind of gust attack. Pidgeotto into Pidget. And this one's. Oh wait, oh, not yet. <laughs> I was waiting for uh, Spiro, but we got Rattata and Eradicate. All right, here's Spiro. Nothing too uh, different. And but I do like the way they depicted Firo. Uh, Firo, I feel like, never got a whole lot of respect. Everyone kind of like Pidgey or Pidgey line better, probably because like Ash had a Pidgeotto. Uh, but I do like how they portrayed this, kind of like this, doing this corkscrew motion. Uh, if you kind of like imagine a bird with a huge beak doing that kind of thing, it would be pretty uh, pretty scary. I believe that's like a drill pack kind of thing. We got Ekans. Is that like Leer or something? And then here's Arbuck. And all right, so this is interesting because um, I don't know, how often do you find pictures or kind of like Pokemon actually attacking each other depicted and so that poor little Diglett just kind of getting uh, some kind of venom shot on cute Pikachu uh, clearly looked a little bit different and this was 1996 into Raichu then we got Sandshrew good old Sandshrew grab this next stack of cards Sand Slash all right first of the Nidorans <laughs> look at this uh, I love the little like um, sweat drop for that Voltorb as Nidorina is kind of eating it it's into the Nido Queen. All right, into the male version. Nidorino into Nido King. And uh, obviously, thing stands out here is his horn is like literally a drill. We got Clefairy with that uh, slap attack. Uh, and Clefable just kind of giving you the, the no, no, no finger. Vulpix, not too different. Uh, but nine tails, I feel like nine tails looks like the body. Uh, maybe the tail is bigger, maybe the body is smaller. But he kind of looks just has like a 
kind of like a wolf kind of pose. Jigglypuff singing, and then Wigglytuff. Uh, I'm not sure what you're doing to this Psyduck. Maybe some like uh, I don't know what's going on there, but Psyduck doesn't look too happy, having a rough day. Zubat. It's a Go Bat. All right, let's go to an Oddish Gloom. What is this? Like a Solar Beam kind of thing. Into Vileplume. Not nothing too different here. Paris, look at that poor Weedle. <laughs> Literally eating the the Weedle. And Parasect somehow sprouting some kind of spore attack onto the Psyduck. Psyduck's always getting picked on in this series. Right, let's see, we got Venonat into Venomoth. Then that Diglett again to Doug Trio. This Meow, look at this. <laughs> he looks super derpy. Uh, reminds me of the Eevee, the Derpy Eevee promo, the, which I referred to as Derpy Eevee for a while. And to Persian. I feel like his like proportions make him look smaller than how I currently envision Persian. There, Psyduck trying to fight back with some kind of swipe attack. To so Golduck, no revenge for Golduck it seems. All right, Mankey, Primate, Growlithe. I do like this Growlithe. It looks kind of cute. Into Arcanine. Uh, interesting thing about Arcanine. Again, I don't know. I feel like the portions make him seem smaller compared to how he's portrayed um, nowadays. Poliwag, Poliwhirl. <laughs> uh, this reminds me of like, I don't know, growing up when we're in like in a pool and you kind of use your hands to try to like squirt water out. <laughs> That's Poliwhirl's attack into a Poliwrath lane smackdown. All right, here we have Abra. Looks like a teleport. Looks like he's really cold or something. Kadabra attacking a Poliwag. And Kadabra. Low kick, chop. Um, no, I don't know. Sizer, I always thought Sizer Toss was like a you're tossing around a Pokemon as opposed to rock, some kind of rock throw or something. And then my champ, I don't think it's a foot attack with those four arms. Here we have a Bell Sprout, Weeping Bell, ooh, boy. And to a Victory Bell, Tentacruel, always a cool Pokemon. Then Tentacruel, uh, biggest takeaway here is once again, um, when I see this art, unless the this is a ginormous electrode, it's, oh, I always envisioned Tentacruel being much bigger, especially um, early on when in the show when they're on SSN and then they get attacked by the Tentacruel. Geodude, some weird floating rock, Graveler, and let me just put this into this thing. We'll get into the second half of the set. But yeah, really happy to add this to my collection again. Three months ago, never even heard of this. And so happy to have a comp more. The 151, still need two more cards and to get them graded. We got gold. So interesting here. Um, I don't know, I always thought it was weird when Pokemon like self destruct, but that's all I can imagine here. And like the rocks on them are almost like shrapnel. And, you know, so uh, maybe this is a good example of kind of like, again, they kind of like maybe toned it down a little bit from their original vision of the Pokemon. Uh, kind of like kind of envision them more as like wild animals and how they survive although defense mechanism where you explode sounds kind of weird to me Ponyta I do like this one this art kind of with that flame going around into a Rapidash <laughs> the Ponyta attack is cooler than the Rapidash slow poke very derpy of course <laughs> and slow bro uh, that's like that's a really funny one we got a Magnemite Magneton Farfetch it looks like he's dancing or something do duo do drio kind of a kind of vanilla here seal very cute seal just taking a nap into dugong attacking a poor ditto ditto's not even transformed yet rhymer muck i don't know this muck doesn't do much for me i feel like muck is one you could really portray in interesting ways shelter cloister here we got the ghosts hunter looks like it's uh something in the background like censored or something and Gengar, look at this, he's like eating something from Snorlax's dream, some kind of nightmare attack or something? I don't know. But I do really like this art, doing something to the Snorlax. Onyx, drowsy, hypno, <laughs> very zen. Oh my gosh, look at this one. So like, I don't know, I feel like you can't print something like this these days. This Krabby is literally choking the life out of this poor ditto. It looks like a like a fruit roll up or something. And it can't, oh my gosh, it's the same ditto. No, he's just smacking it after he evolves. 
And I'm pretty sure like Kingler had like a big claw. Voltorb was some kind of barrier attack. Looks like something we see from Mr. Mime, which we will probably. There's Electrode, looks like he's gonna explode. Executes. Oh my gosh, this poor Ditto. He's like treating these things like they're Goombas or something. And uh, look at that smile on that one. <laughs> cute little, or this Cubone's not too cute. I was a fan of Cubone. Uh, just kind of yawning. Marrock throwing that bone. Hitmon Lee. Hitmon Chan. Lick a tongue. Some kind of lick attack against a, what is that, a Weeping Bell or something? Oh boy, look at this coughing. <laughs> Definitely just self-destructing. Um, don't think we'd see cards like this. I don't know. I feel like if I was a, I could see a kid just being a little traumatized by this kind of art. Wheezing. Rivalry to ride down. Not too much there. Chansey singing along. Tangle of poor Psyduck again. I think Psyduck is a big punch. Eh, I'm not sure. Psyduck or Ditto? Which one's the bigger punching bag? Kangaskhan, some kind of uppercut attack. Smog from Horsey, Cedra, Goldeen, Seeking, very distinct, like that's a that's a drill on the head, not just like a horn. Staryu, this is interesting. So Staryu may was envisioned to have some kind of like star attack, which I'm not really sure what those are supposed to be. So that one I kind of don't mind as far as, I don't know, what they turn into, like there's like a spout into one of those uh, fin thingies, or the arms or whatever. Star me coming right out of the gym. There's that Mr. Mime with War Turtle. Look at this, the War Turtles with the, the sweat, the beauty of sweat. Like, oh boy, that's not good. Very cool Scyther. And like the, yeah, so there are, there are hollow ones. Uh, and obviously there are specific cards. Jinx. The Buzz. Magmar. I feel like this one could, definitely could have been portrayed a little bit uh, more interestingly. Pincer. I don't know, I feel like it's a weird angle for those, uh, for those horns. Oh, Psyduck getting destroyed again by a Tauros. That would hurt. <laughs> Magikarp. Into a Gyarados. Once again, I feel like uh, the sizing between the body and the head um, makes it look like a small Gyarados. And the information, there's some information on the back. Uh, it is in Japanese, but I think they do have a height, so 6.5 millimeters. Uh, what is this, like 500 pounds? Lapras. Kind of cute. Oh my gosh, this one, I, I, even I found it kind of disturbing. So it's like a ditto that is not sure what it's trying to transform into. Um, cool art, but uh, even I find it, ooh, that's a, it's kind of a, <laughs> not sure how I feel about that. Look at this Eevee. Eevee, for an Eevee, this has got to be one of the least cute Eevees I, I've ever seen. Into the evolutions. Interesting that the Eevee is foiled, but none of the evolutions. Ooh, I like that one. Flareon. Porygon. Not sure what kind of attack that is. Uh, something out of order? Oh, right. Ammonite into Amastar. Then Kabuto. Um, kind of like a different coloring scheme. As opposed to that brown. To Kabutop, but the Kabutops is very similar. Aerodactyl. Alright, this time the punching bag is a Slowpoke. Ah, very cute Snorlax. Once again, proportions feel very different, or like they change the proportions between 96 and 99. Then we got the legendary birds, Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, um, definitely I think Articuno is the best of these three. Moltres, Zapdos, kind of underwhelming. And then the dragon lineup, Dratini, it's like an anaconda to the Charmander, poor Charmander. Ooh, this is a really cool art. Dragonair, he's like powering up to become this nasty dragon. And there is the Dragonite himself. I'm guessing that's like a very, uh, I don't know, weak hyper beam? <laughs> and then there is the Mewtwo. Once again, it looks kind of small. And Mew to wrap up 151 for this card I set. Again, there's two more cards. I uh, can't say I'm too eager to pick up those two. Uh, but we'll get them eventually and again excited to have these graded we'll get them back in like a year from now but uh anyway guys um yeah hope that, especially if this was brand new information or you know you were not familiar with the set um hope you kind of enjoyed just you know just uh, this quick little showcase and 
got a interesting peek into kind of like what maybe um, and during 1996, what the, how they envisioned some of these Pokemon, and it's interesting to see like kind of how they came out. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.